I'm Black Bright. This is for my Love Island fans. And I'm so glad that some of you said you like to watch my um, my reviews on it. And tonight, I just can't wait. I mean, it was really, really good tonight. Um, okay, where do we start? Let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Yes, yeah, so where do we start? Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca has a go at Luke T. What I, um, I can understand her feelings, but you know what she forgets is that feelings are very organic in the villa. You, you meet somebody, it's a confined space, you can't go anywhere, it's not like the real world. You're confined in that place 24 hours, and so if you have a spark with somebody, you have a spark. And sometimes you don't even realise that the spark is developing. So what happens is Shanice and um, Luke T did have a spark when they first met. She's the one that stepped in and took Luke T. It's not as if Luke T chose her and then went behind her back and started flirting with Shanice. So I don't know what is wrong with her. She is mad. Do you see her face? Even in the recoupling. But I think Luke T and Shanice will get on really well. They just get it. They just get each other. Their little play games, even the little wave when they were going to sleep. I mean, little things like that. They could, they, you know, it's fun. So I'm so glad that that's out of the way. So Luke T and Shanice can get on. And I think they have the potential to win. I really do. Unless it goes tits up. Um, what else? Um, Mike. I mean... You see with Leanne, right, she went off him, if you notice, as soon as Shauna kissed him in that game and called him a game player, her antenna went up, she started feeling funny about him from that moment, and I believe it's her intuition that kicked in with Mike, and she didn't feel too comfortable about him, but I think because she is so... Um, she depends on outside influences to make her decision. I don't think she's got anything of her own. She doesn't seem to be able to judge for herself what she wants. So it looks like, um, because Shauna kissed him and said, you know, as a part of the game, because the game was, kiss the person, the biggest game player in the villa. So she kisses Mike, and Mike is shocked. Why are you calling me a game player? But that turned Leanne off from that moment. And I think that that is the reason she started going off him. So now she has to convince herself that she's made the right decision. They were getting on fine before that. And then something else she said about Instagram. She can't see what he's like on Instagram. So it does make me think that she needs outside endorsement. If on the person who she's choosing. It doesn't seem as though she's got her own internal compass compass to choose someone, which she might as well, if that's the case, she, she doesn't need to be in the villa because she's not going to be able. You need to have your own internal compass to know whether or not you like someone. So karma is a bitch, as Shoni said yesterday, and she also said today. So she's got her man. So, <laughs> I loved it. What else was there that I wanted to talk about? So Mike is talking about, not one, you know. Oh, I think about Rebecca. I like Jess and I like um, Sophie. I mean, is he desperate or what? How does that look? But there again, I don't think he cares about how it looks. All he cares about is that he's staying in the villa. So, Jess, I don't know how he had the nerve to go and tell Jess that he likes her after Jess chose him. And then he tells Jess that he doesn't want her, he prefers Leanne. And you've got the balls after she's coupled up with someone to say, oh, I, I'd still like to work it out with you. Or words to that effect. I mean, up yours, mate. 
get on your bike. Then, make it worse, he goes for Sophie, as if Sophie's going to fancy him. Does he look like, ah, oh, does he look like Sophie's type? After Connor, and then Connor and him are friends, and he's going and chatting up her to, he hasn't got, he hasn't got a clue. And I didn't see him chat up Rebecca. I think Rebecca would have been better off with Mike than with that guy. She doesn't like that guy. She doesn't like Wallace. You can tell. Wallace ain't her type. She's gone for Connor. She's gone for Luke T. And she didn't go for Mike because Mike was with Leanne. So by pairing up with Wallace, that ain't going to last five minutes. She's going to have wandering eyes for Mike. I still believe in that. I still believe in those two. I reckon those two are going to get it off. They've both got that little cheeky look. Anyway, what else was there? Shauna said he was a game player. And that is what makes him look like a game player. By asking all three girls out so desperately, just not even a day after him and Leanne done. He's there checking out the three girls, but he's got to start looking. I mean, but can't he do it in a different way? I mean, honestly, it didn't look good. It's not a good look. And I don't know why Leanne was peed off. If, if, he, if he makes her feel sick, I mean, she calls it ick, and she don't like him, why should she be worried that he's talking to somebody else in front of her? I don't get that. If you've gone off someone, you shouldn't care about what they're doing. That girl's a bit messed up to me. She definitely messed up. And at the end, when she's saying to him, oh, you're glad you got rid of me, and she's angry at him, what a bloody cheek. How can you be angry at someone after you've told them in their face on big, big TV you don't like them? <sighs> nah, she's not right. So what else is it? Um... Go on down in mental thing. Yeah, I don't think the guys even like the fact that Mike's, Mike, the way Mike is behaving now. Like they even said he, he looks desperate. And he is looking desperate. In the end, he got his power back because he was able. <laughs> that must have given him such a degree of satisfaction to send her home. Because it's like, you know, you're going to spoil my time in here. Well, she already did spoil it. And the thing is, is that he needs to find somebody. And did you see that look he gave her when she was going up the stairs? It's almost like you made me lose that 50 grand because they would have been a good couple. And in the bookies, they were they were tipped to win. So that went down the pan. Um, oh, Luke T kisses Shanice. And wasn't he sweet the way he asked her? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was so cute. Yeah, those two, I reckon those two are really going to get on. I reckon that's a good couple. And you can see it's genuine. There's genuine chemistry. You can tell the ones that are working, that are genuine. Paige and, Ch Paige and Finley are genuine. Shauna and Callum are genuine. Shanice and um, Luke T will be genuine. Naz and... Demi, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm glad he I'm glad he kept her in. Because if he had sent her home in favour of those two, I mean, especially since um Sophie was bawling her eyes out about Connor. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, and blah blah no, I can't manage without him, and now she don't want to go home. So what's with that? Go outside there and get your man. He's waiting for you. Now she's got to stay and sleep with bloody Mike. She don't even like Mike. I mean, if you really fancy someone, you'd leave the villa. She don't fancy, she don't like Connor. But we knew that, didn't we? Well, we knew that they weren't that compatible. So, I don't know about Naz and their conversation about pizzas. I mean, what do they call it? Bumpy based pizza. What, a conversa what kind of conversation is that? I mean, that's what I mean. It doesn't come like they've got any depth. It just seems like a very superficial thing. I think with Demi, I think she definitely does like Naz. But I still think Naz 
it's, I mean, at least he's got someone, put it that way. He's got someone. And that's what you want when you're in the villa. You don't want to be in the villa on your own. So, what about the guys having to tell Finley to have a shower? About should I have a shower? And he's going into that, that lovely bedroom. Can you imagine? He was prepared to go in there with his smelly self after working out and being up and down all day. I don't think Paige would have been too impressed if he'd gone in there with his sweaty self. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I thought that little wave on the bed was really, really cute. The two of them. That, there's things like that you can tell when people are compatible. Um, what else? I don't know what else I thought was strange. Isn't it strange that it's always the men that are in the kitchen? They do the breakfast. They do the dinner. I don't see the girls doing anything at all. I'm not saying that they should, but I don't see it. Maybe the guys just like cooking. Okay, what else have we got here? Um... Oh, when uh, Mike was um, chatting up Jess by the pool, Ilian, but him do have no class. <laughs> Bana, you know. <laughs> oh dear, I mean the villa is small and the fact of the matter is, should he be bothered? Let me know in the description, do you think Mike should have considered Leanne's feelings given the way she treated him? Or the way she spoke to him. Even if she'd said, you know, I'm not feeling it right now. You know, I need a little, you know, like a spear or something. See if I can, you know, see if the feelings can come back. She'd tell the man straight in his face, I don't like you. I feel ick. I mean, please. And then she expects him to be sensitive to her feelings. Karma is a bitch, they say. Um... That's the thing, at this stage, you don't know who's vying to stay in the villa. Mike, I think he was swimming around because he doesn't want to go home. I guess he didn't know that it was, I mean, in the villa, you don't know who's choosing who. So if the women were choosing, he would have had to have gone home, maybe. But uh, because it was the other way around, he was he had the power to choose. Um, what else? Yeah, I didn't think it was very nice that um, Sophie and Leanne got hold of Naz and said that they really want to stay in the villa and expecting him to give up Demi. How selfish was that? You know, they're not nice people. Those two, they're a bit... Mm -mm. They're, they're a bit... And Shauna is right. Shauna is definitely right. She, like she said, if Callum left that villa, she would be out once she got the chance. She wouldn't be looking to stay. But Callum don't see it, bless his little heart. Callum is another little sweetie. Um, what I, the only other thing I wasn't sure of, you know when he, um, Luke T was making that little speech for Shanice and he said there was a spark as soon as he came into the villa. I was wondering if he should have said that only because um, when Rebecca was asking him about Shanice, he made it look like he only knew over the last day or so. And then by saying that, it kind of contradicted that they had a spark from the beginning. But there again, he didn't choose Rebecca. Rebecca chose him. So it, I think it's OK. It doesn't make him look like he's a liar or that he was doing anything underhanded. So, yeah, what else? Yeah, I didn't see Mike chat up Rebecca. And I don't think I missed any of that. Because he said Rebecca was in the run-ins in his choice. Anyway, who knows who he's going to try and get on with. I just hope they bring in somebody. Don't know who. But he's got to be careful because women are watching Love Island. And when they see his behaviour, if another girl goes in, she's not. She's going to be a bit wary of him. So he's got to be careful how he portrays himself and his loyalties. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's about it, really. That's it. Mike made Leanne squirm. 
revenge is sweet and yeah that's all i've got to say about that violin tonight bye